for today, and it, it, it seemed like really settled in quickly. How did you feel about being able to cover what you were able to and in, in the performance? Um, yeah, you know, I know I'm coming there and uh, try and get as many ounces as I can as efficiently as possible, try and save some of our for other arms and uh, keep us in the game. And uh, yeah. Five strikeouts, if I'm not mistaken, in the three and two thirds. I'm pretty sure just a couple hits. Um, anything in particular you've been focusing on as far as, I know, pounding the strike zone is always your thing, but anything more as you've kind of been here now for a while? Yeah. I had a uh, long conversation with Max about uh, just, you know, sort of some of the things he dealt with and some uh, some mental approach stuff. And um, I definitely felt like I was trying to... Uh, get guys to swing and miss. I was trying to, to get misses rather than trying to get contact and just get guys out of the box. And that was sort of a freeing uh, thing to hear, you know, try and get swings, get contact, let them hit it. And uh, it sounds simple, but you know, sometimes it can be hard. And so uh, today I definitely felt like I was, even in some 1-0, 2-0, whatever counts, uh, you know, just not as, as stressed out about it and just went right at guys and got swings and misses in those counts and it all, all worked out. A lot of strikes. Yeah, the get swings, just get contact. Was that his message, or did he say something else that really resonated with you? To that was the, that was the gist of his message, just, you know, hitting's hard, and when you've got, you know, high velocity, good stuff, whatever, either either way, you know, you, you have to let the hitter, you know, hit the ball, and uh, more, more often than not, they're not going to, and um, you can really only get in your own way, and that's kind of how I feel like I've been going about it, and trying to miss bats, you know, hit spots, instead of just going right at the catcher's mask and, um, you know, letting it, letting it happen. Interesting enough, I, I think along the same lines, Bryce kind of mentioned maybe feeling like he's trying to be a little too perfect or too mm. fine in his last outing. What did you see from him today and just um, his outing? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought he looked good. His, his stuff is just unbelievable. I mean, it, it's got to be hard to pitch for him because his stuff moves so much. I mean, guys can't be comfortable in the box, and I'm sure that, they get up there looking for something, and he throws a wiffle ball that moves halfway across the plate. And I mean, it freezes guys sometimes, and maybe it's a ball, but it was a great pitch. And that that's tough when you make your pitches and it doesn't res- you know end up in a good result for you, whether it's a ball or a, a hit or whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, he looked good. He settles in, and he always gives everybody a chance. I mean, he, again, one run. I mean, that's it. And, uh, you know, he just, just grinds out. I'm going to ask, sorry, I didn't mind. I didn't interrupt you. I'm going to ask you out of curiosity. I know you can't speak for him, but both of the Seager home run, I think it was the hot single, he was he was up 0-2 counts. As far as still being young in your career and figuring out, like, is that a deflating moment or is it one that you learn from or, or how do you take away in those moments? I think it's it goes back to the just letting guys hit the ball. I mean, you can't win every single pitch. You can't win every game. You can't win every at-bat. You know, guys are going to get hits. You're going to lose sometimes. And, uh, you know, you have to give yourself a good chance. And if you don't throw strikes, especially in those counts, you're not really helping yourself. And so, um, you know, but it's a solo home run. And solo home runs don't normally beat you. And so uh, you know, I think if you give up one or two of those a game, you're usually going to be all right.